There we go. Guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon Denise. If you are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to leave your comment in the description bar down below. Um, I have been away for a while. I had some family personal stuff going on. Uh, that's a story time for another video. But I am here today to vlog a little collective haul type situation. Um, yeah, your girl's been doing some retail therapy. Um, a little shopping. If you hear the um, bags down below because I have them like spread out. I have some stuff on my table here. I have some stuff in the chair here. I have some stuff of collective of like clothing not all of them because i refuse to just go some of them i wore already and to go digging into stuff that i've already wore i'm not gonna do that um i have shoes sephora alta fossil um some online instagram jewelry uh boutiques um just a disclaimer, throw that out there. I'm not bragging or boasting in any type of way. I do have a full-time job. So I work hard. I play even harder. I work for the things that I have. I'm very grateful, very blessed to be able to do the things that I can do for myself and my family. Um, yeah, just to throw that out there, not bragging or boasting in any type of way. I feel like if you do, you work, whether it's uh, nine to five or if it's YouTube full time and you put in the work and the benefits of your work pay off you should be able to live comfortably and live the way you choose to live so just to throw that out there not bragging or boasting in any type of way also um, for those that are new I am new to YouTube I can I say it in every video because sometimes I fall off sometimes I don't sometimes I'm consistent sometimes I'm not um, sometimes like right now during the holiday, the nine to five that I have, it takes up a lot of my time. So when I'm able to pick up my camera, I will try to do so going into 2023. We're giving you at least one to two vlogs a week until I pick up. And yeah, so before we get into it, just don't pay attention to the head wrap on my head because I am, um, <laughs> I was getting, I do a little foundation on just the, for the sake of the video, but I am finna get ready to go out, head to the mall, pick up a few last minute Christmas gifts for the fam. Also, um, yeah, so don't mind the scarf. It is coming down. Um, I, I don't do this often with the scarf. So just be uh, patient with me. Don't forget again to like and comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified every time I pick up my camera and describe the, um, decide to put a video out. Um, also guys, um, don't mind my Alexa going off in the back. Whenever something hits CNN or some, something hit Houston News, it's going to do that. And also, don't mind the noise you may hear in the background because, uh, my maintenance guys are out there doing some work right outside my apartment. And so you may hear a little noise every now and again. Um, so, uh, forgive me for that. Um... So today is December the 20th, and it is currently 11.06. That's my two nieces right there. 11.06 um, a.m. Uh, the mall open at 10. You know, early bird gets the worm. So I'm going to try to hit that early today. Um, and right now I'm really just like rambling. So I'm going to stop doing all that, and I'm going to get into the video. So, I'm going to start off with the things I have on the table because I completely like threw the bag away or started using the products already. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I'm missing a gloss um, from Sephora. So, I'm going to start with Sephora first because it's one of the bags that I threw away and it's on my table. Um, one of the lip glosses is in my bag. No, in, currently, yeah, currently in my work bag because I use it yesterday and I usually I have like a bunch of lip glosses like most of my jewelry case is lip glosses and I, I'm getting in the habit of trying to use one per day or just use one that I currently like and try to stick with it um but yeah let's get into it because I okay so yeah I have plenty of time in this 
film I'm currently filming on my Canon M50 um and if anybody that vlog with the Canon M50 know that it's a 30 minute uh, vlog period per session and then it clicks off after that and then you have to restart it and yada 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 all that jazz so I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna get right into this collective haul because I got uh, half of what I was gonna show um, here with me now so I'm gonna start with the uh, stuff I got from Sephora since it was the lightest of them all not in price but by bag it was the lightest um, so I've been seeing a lot of youtubers uh, with this talk about this gloss here which is the tower 28 this is the um, flavor pistachio uh, I've watched Chelsea Janae on YouTube use this one a lot she brags about this one also um, natural I think it's naturally sunny or sunny I know that's her name Atia um, she brags about this one a lot this one is the tower 28 if you can see it, it's in the uh, flavor pistachio. This one I wore three days now. Very, very beautiful gloss. Uh, have your lips buttery. Um, it lasts on the mouth a long time before you have to reapply it. So I, I'm in love with this one. Um, I've also picked up... I haven't used this one yet, but I swatched it in the store and I love the color of it. It is another Tower 28. This one is in the flavor coconut. Yeah, coconut. I don't have it upside down, but it's coconut. Um, also, another pretty, pretty color. Um, it's like if you look them at them side by side, they look like they can be the same. But one's like a nudie and then the other one is more like a pinky. But they both go on like a nude nude. Um, so I grab for both of those um, because I'm a nude type of person. Anything that's nude or nude pink, nude brown, I'm here for it. I may wear a red lip every so often depending on the outfit, where I'm going, what I'm feeling like that day. I'll have on like a red lip with a red liner. So, And I also from Sephora, the last thing I picked up, I picked up two of the Sephora lip liners um, in the uh, flavor must molasses i picked up two of these because also another youtube tiktok um favorite they boast and brag and rag on this one um i did pick up two of these the other one of this is in the bag because i lined my lip with it first before putting on the hot chocolate also lined my lips with it before putting on the sp pistachio so that's why it's still in my bag because even though I'm not topping my lip gloss with a my lips with a lipstick before applying the gloss and the the pencil the pencil with the gloss goes perfectly. I'm a gloss type of chick. I have maybe five or six Mac um, lip um, lipsticks and maybe two or three from Juvia's Place. Um, um, but yeah. I'm a gloss type of chick. So, some new glosses that I may pick up today when I go out. I only have two lips and I got over 30 glosses, which is terrible. Which I know there's some people out there that have way more than that. But, for someone, you know, that works a 9 to 5 and basically at their 9 to 5, 5 days a week. Like, what can I basically do with 30 glosses? A lot. Um, so, now that I'm done with... Well, we're going to stay in the makeup family. Um, I know I said I was going to stay with what's on my table, but now I'm going to go into what I got from Ulta. Um, just because I'm in already on the makeup, I don't want to just jump from makeup to something else and go back to makeup. But since I'm already on makeup, I'm going to go with what I have here and my handy dandy Sephora bag. I mean, Ulta bag. I'm sorry, excuse me, Ulta bag. Um... I'm going to go with what's in that bag. Um, I also have to go back in there and get some Christmas gifts for some people. And I want a pink bag. It's Christmas bags, they have the Christmas bags is pink. And I want a pink bag. So, um, the first thing I got, I walked in and these were on the table. I love these things, especially for washing my face and applying my makeup. Um, this is uh, like a terry towel type headband. So, when you're washing your face, your hair won't get wet. It's by the brand, the brand, the Vintage Cosmetic Company. 
Um, it was like $7.99. I do have, I think I have the receipt. Yeah, I still have the receipt in the bag. Um, I still have the receipt in the bag. Total was $268 I spent at Ulta. But I did use some of my points. I used uh, 200 and... $43 worth of my points because I only spent $41 out of, out of pocket. Um, so this headband here um, was a total of, it was $7.99. Yeah, it was $7.99 and with my points I paid $1.22. So which wasn't re really bad at all for that. I also picked up, which I've been using... <laughs> I've been using, I picked up this Juvia's Place uh, bronzer set right here. Um, I hope you can see it. It's not blurry, but it's in the uh, shade. It's volume one. Um, it's the Blush Rouge. I'll show you what it looks like. This was, uh, let me see, let me see. Actually, I thought I got the Hot Chocolate Fenty from... Sephora, I got it from Ulta because it's on my Ulta receipt. And it was $23, but I paid $350 because I used my points. Um, and this do, 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 Juvia's Blush Palette was $18, and I paid $1.98 because I used my points. And this is what the shades look like. Beautiful. Especially on my skin tone, beautiful. So, And I love that it has a mirror. So if you want to throw this in your purse to just to refresh your brush, your blush, when you're out and about, it comes with a mirror. So I love anything that comes with a little camp, uh, compact mirror. Very, very, very good. So um, I picked this up and I've been using this every day since I got it. And I got it like a week or two ago. Um, I just went in there. I was like, Shannon, you. I was trying to save up my points to get the Tom Ford. Uh, lost cherry but I said to myself $300 for that little bitty bottle of perfume I can treat myself to all the things that I go in there and buy out of pocket or with my altar card that altar card is going to get me in a lot of trouble guys but I did pick up this Juvia's Place um, blush I'll have everything that I am showing you guys in my description below um, one second I will have everything listed that I'm showing you guys in the description uh, below. And if I don't link it, something in the description, um, please uh, leave a comment and I'll tell you where I got it from and how much it was. Because um, before I get to all the other stuff, the clothes, because I have shoes, clothes, bags, um, the, the recorder is going to go off. I'm going to have to restart it. So. I'm going to take the first 30 minutes to talk about the makeup stuff. Also from Sephora, I, I mean Ulta, I picked up, I love Ariana Grande uh, scents. They, um, she's, they always smell so good. So I picked up this one, um, God is a Woman, uh, the 3.4 floor ounces. Um, it comes in this pretty box and it also comes in this pretty little thing here where you can actually picked the perfume up out of it but it's I thought that was real nice and pretty I picked that up um, and with that came a free gift which was this here which was a smaller version of the perfume and a sulfate a body sulfate souffle it's a body scrub and it says God is a woman so this was free the perfume set was 65 and with my um, points, I paid $9.90 for that. And like I said, again, this was free. So that's that. And I also picked up a couple smaller items, which was once this Juvia's Place uh, lip gloss. There's another lip gloss, guys. It's in the shade, uh, if you can see it, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's blurry, but if you can see that, it's in the shade Nubian Nude. Um, and it looks like this real pretty, real pretty brown, tan, taupe looking color, real pretty. Um, like I said, I'm into nudes, browns, pinks, 
And I here's my Fenty Hot Chocolate. Um, it's not in here. Like I said, I wore it. I've been having it in my work bag because I've been using that one lately. I also picked up. Oh, so for both of those, the hot chocolate was nine was twenty dollars, and with my points, I paid three dollars and four cent for it. And for the Juvia's Place um, lip gloss. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so this one was 14. And with my points, it came up to $2.13. And also, I've been trying to get this Ordinary Serum, Eyelash Serum, for over six months from from Alt, some Sephora, which always are, is sold out. So I went to Ulta and they had plenty. So I picked up this, um, the Ordinary Lash Serum. Uh, sold out TikTok and YouTubers has made it popular and now it's sold out so I picked up one of those which I should have got two because with my points this one is regular it says I got something tart what is that oh, okay so this one is regular $14.50 and I paid $2.21 nope $2.13 for this one so and then I also picked up this Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills um, I don't know it's not showing but it's <laughs> focus for the brow freeze I watched pretty Iceland on YouTube I have been using the elf um, oh shoot, I'm about to knock over these boxes excuse me I've been you have been using the elf clear brow and lash um gel for my eyebrows because i have thick eyebrows you probably can't see because it's headband but like i said i'm gonna comb my hair now and i'll pick you guys back up on the way to the mall when i get in my car but i picked up this um uh, anastasia brow freeze because i have been using the elf and i'm telling you it's a gel but it's a loose gel and it could look good while you're doing your makeup but by the time you leave the residence is hit like your eyebrows have shifted a whole different way it's a good product for the price because they're only three dollars so you get what you pay for this one was twenty three dollars and uh, with my points it came out to three dollars and fifty cent so this one is pretty pretty good I give this a 10 out of 10 um, because once I put it on it's on there until I wash my face at night I did pick up some face wash products, but they're in my bathroom and I don't feel like getting them. I'll save those for another video or when I re-up or if I do an empty video, which I plan on putting in my regimen because I don't have a specific for my channel. Sometimes I just pick up the camera and just go to vlogging about anything. Um, but lately I've been trying to focus on one specific thing. So mainly they'll probably be like collective hauls or what I just purchase videos or mainly, uh, not mainly, but collective hauls and face products so um this is what it's nice it's an i give this one a 10 out of 10 so if you ever been thinking about it go get it very good product very very good product most of these products that i have i've either seen chelsea janae here on youtube with them um pretty iceland with them also um sunny aliyah and uh aliyah face Who's another one I watch? Oh, Kyra uh, and Kaylee. I watch them a lot. And Jamima. I just started watching Jamima. Funny, hilarious. Uh, so shout out to those YouTubers. Also, my husband, he likes to come in and watch me while, we, while I'm watching YouTube for a quick second. And he loves when I watch Peyton. He called her his girl. Never met her a day in his life, but that's his girl so shout out to those youtubers making their mark um that's been on the on the youtube scene for a while like i said i'm just starting so one day i manifest a hope to be in those in in the position that they're in um also let me get back so i have two more items in this bag so this is third to last this is a mario badescu and i hope i'm saying that right um facial spray set it's all of the flavors they have um, I have here the aloe herb and rose water. 
the aloe and cucumber with green tea, the aloe and chamomile with lavender, the aloe and sage with orange blossom, um, the aloe with antigens, adaptogens, and coconut water. Excuse me if I screwed that last one up, but this is the little Christmas holiday set that Ulta had. Um, it was $12. Still is $12 if they have any more near nearby Ulta, but $12. Um, I thought that was a nice price for five fluid, one fluid ounces. So you can have your pick of the litter on that. That one was regular, like I said, $12. And with my points, mm, let me find it here on this receipt. So with my points, it was regular 12 With my points, I played $1.28 for that one. Um, and then, oh God, stuff is wanting to fall out. Give me a second. I'm back. So I also I've seen Sunny. Um, I screenshotted this off her page, which is uh, one of her videos, the uh, Smashbox um, Studio Skin 24 Hours Hydro Foundation Oil Free. Um, this one I am in the shade. Oh, it's so blurry. I don't know if you can see it, but um, let me see. Put it there. This one here. It's in the shade. In the 4.0 skin tone medium dark warm peach undertone I get mixed reviews when it comes down to my skin I'm always going into the stores when I and have them match me some say I have a olive undertone and some light peach undertone I have a problem with my foundation I have the Clinique foundation mixed with concealer and I have the makeup forever um, and I also every now and then do the Maybelline fixed skin I think it is For, because like I said my skin tone is crazy um, and I chose this one because um, looking at Sunny's video she said it does not oxidize and I think that's my problem when I do go and put on foundation and do it and finish it off with my setting powder and do bronzer and I feel like that's where I go wrong when I do my bronzer and my contour my face tend to look a little more red than it should be or just like orange and I don't know if it's because it's winter time when I use the winter shades I don't know if they're winter shades or I hear a lot of youtubers or people in general saying that oh I gotta go lighter in the summertime and I gotta go darker in the winter time for to get a cool warm tone or something of the sort but I chose this one I'm pretty happy with it um, because it doesn't oxidize um, that one was regular, let me find it, regular $43 and I paid $6.55 with my points. So very, very happy purchase. And the last thing that I got was this Tarte, um, this Tarte uh, Trio eyeliner, not eyeliner, I'm sorry, I, um, eyelash mascara. This one was regular $43 and I paid... 608 well it was regular $40 and I paid 608 the reason why I went with this one was because the man eater that's in here this black one is my favorite I buy this one faithfully this one here between this one and the uh, Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex this is my go to right here I'm wanting to try the two, other two which is the Tartlet and the uh, the purple one is the Lights Camera Lash. This one was uh, regular $40. I think this is the nicest time to stack up on your makeup products because um, you can't go wrong. You can get, like I said, these type of sets here. These type of bundle sets here you can get for a reasonable price. Um, and they last you for a while. Unless you do your makeup three, four times a day. Or your makeup artist um, I think that'll be great just to have for yourself or for your studio or wherever you do your makeup at for a reasonable price because like I said it's the holidays their price reasonable you're gonna get your bundle deals um, you can get other people um, those or you can keep them for yourself like I said it's the best time right now to um, to do that so um, that was Sephora and Ulta, so I think that's it for makeup. Um, so I'm gonna go to my jewelry because I 
free I buy a lot of jewelry. Um lately I've been dabbling into little dainty pieces of jewelry like this necklace that I have on. Um because I mean like like I said the job I have, my nine to five, you don't want to draw too much attention to yourself because you do have to leave work and it's holiday time and even if it wasn't holiday time, times are hard in general. Oh, and I just noticed, guys, that I did not have my mic in. So, I hope this video has sound. Um, oh, my God. If this video... Okay, I'm back, guys. I got my mic up there now. So, hopefully, the first part, hopefully, I got some sound in the first video. I mean, first part of the video. Um, if I don't, while I'm editing, I can just go and do a voiceover or do it over and then upload the video but now I have my mic on so now I'm going to go into the jewelry part uh, picked up just a few pieces um, two of the items were birthday gifts because my birthday was in October um, but like I said I haven't made a video in a while so I'm going to just put these two pieces in because like I said they were birthday gifts to myself um, so this one is this fossil um, watch um let me see if we can see it. focus on it so it's like a peachy color on the inside and it has like little crystals around the side of it really pretty watch and then the band is like a rose gold i'm a watch chick i my favorite brand of watch is fossil i have a total of eight fossil watches and then my apple watch um so this one was one of them that i got as a birthday gift this one was a gift to myself um, and then this one was gifted to me by my coworker, which is this fossil watch here. Um, it's a silver, like, um, it looks like a dupe of one of the AP watches, <laughs> um, which is really, which I think is really cute. So that's that, uh, really cute watch, really, really cute watch. Um, so those are the two watches that I um got both of them are fossil watches real pretty watches um the reason oh and then i had to get some of the links taken out of the silver one because this is a man style watch but i love it um excuse the noise that's the case from the watch also i picked up a few pieces from this online instagram boutique i picked up a few pieces um, this is the name. I don't want to, I think it's Tress Colory. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I don't want to mess it up. But that, if you can see it, I'll have it in the description, but that's the brand. So I ordered a pair of earrings, a necklace, and a ring. So they all have my name on it. This is the necklace. I got it in the 20 inch so I can... Um, have it hanging a little longer uh, because I want to use this as a layer necklace so when I layer my little dainty pieces it says Shannon which is my name uh, if you can see that you may can't but um, I have the double plated it's double plated um, real pretty real real pretty um, I wore it once um, since I've gotten it also um, I got the earrings. I haven't worn the earrings yet, so they're still in the pack, so I don't want to take them out. But they also says my name, if you can see that. Hoops. Uh, Shannon is what it says. Real pretty. And I also, out of that collection, I also picked up... They had a 65% off sale. Um, I know they're not doing 65 anymore. I know it's last I checked, they were 60 which is still a good... Um, price point because 50% anything under 50% over 50% is good in pricing 40% is good in pricing if you look at it um so and I also got this ring here which I, I wear it here on my middle finger which I have my Pandora rings on now but I bought it for this middle finger here to wear like that which is really 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 pretty um so yeah that's uh all I got there is for jewelry so we can move into I'm going to go into the clothing pieces that I got because I have um, a lot but like I said I'm gonna do a Shein haul because I have a big old box of Shein 
Uh, I'm going to do that separately. So that's why I didn't bring that over. But for the most part right here, I have Fashion Nova. Um, all the jewelry that I got. I mean, all the clothing that I'm about to show you guys come from Fashion Nova. Um, like I said, I got a big box of Shein, from Shein. I'm going to do that video separately because it's a lot of pieces. And I think that it deserves its own video because... Um, yeah, like I said, it's a lot of pieces in that video. Also, I have another Fashion Nova package coming, so I may do that one by itself. It's going to be mainly, like, I like Fashion Nova graphic tees better than I like Shein's because Shein sometimes with the graphic tees can come off a little catfishes. So, I, I, I like to get my graphic tees from um, Fashion Nova. Shein has some nice jackets that I interested in getting so if y'all have any ideas or any specific jackets that y'all like from Shein that y'all know gonna come good material uh good stitching good for the cold weather because it don't get that cold in Houston um I'm in Houston Texas so it really don't get that cold so right now I have a cart with I think 11 items mainly cardigans um because they don't get that cold here in Houston. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, but I don't live here in Houston. So either where I go, it don't really get that. It get cold, but a cardigan, a nice jacket, maybe a little puffer jacket is, is all you need. Um, so if y'all have any um, nice jackets from Shein or Fashion Nova, let me know. Um, so start with the Fashion Nova, the clothes. I want to start off. I saw this rouge dress. It's a... Uh, it's long. When I tell you I'm 6'1", and it comes below my feet. Um, I saw this dress on the model, and it also has like a little hood. Um, and it says, blessed here at the top. And then it has some rouging on the side, but it is long. Look how long that is. It comes, I might just throw this on today because like I said, I'm just going to run to the mall this dress is so long and pretty on. I literally, everything is still wrapped up except for two items because I wore them already. But I had to try it on because I like sometimes last two pair of jeans I got from Fashion Nova still hanging in my closet with the tags on it because the picture that look, that I saw and what I received was not it at all. So not to um, shame company because I'm going to continue to shop there. But not, not, not what, if I could have did a, what I got versus what I wanted, that was not what it was. So I bust this out of the package as soon as I got it just to try it on to make sure it was the length um, that the picture show and it was definitely that. So that was a hit and all right there. A very, very nice, nice material. The dress is really, really nice. So that's that. Uh, let me show you the things that I wore already um, because I can hang those back up because I've already cleaned, had those clean. Um, this graphic tee, I've always wanted a, a Pink Floyd, uh, Nirvana, and a Kiss graphic tee. Um, and this is a, this Pink Floyd one I picked up from Fashion Nova. Very good material. It has a little distressing around the neck part. Um, like it's been ripped, but that's how it came. Um, it also have like these tie dye stains on the front and back. Um, but it's very, very pretty. This pink Floyd, very pretty. Wore that. Um, couldn't wait to wear that. So I wore that and it was hanging up in my closet. Cause like I said, I've already cleaned it and hung them up. And so these, um, parachute pants is what they're called. It comes with the elastic, um, uh, band around and this is a size 1x and also the shirt is a size extra large because like I said I'm heavy up top and then I'm wider at the bottom because I'm 6'1 and I'm at 220 um, which I'm these nice nice material um, you can draw string them you can pull them in and make them tight fitted around the leg part it also has two cardigan pockets one here at the top of the pants and then one at the very bottom where the uh and then you can also scrunch this to make it tight at the bottom which i like about the pants i also already wore these and i wore these first because again i'm six one and i want to make sure that the pants that i buy comes um 
the length that it says inseam because sometimes I buy pants and I end up having to cuff them and wear them like they're ankle pants because they're not the side the 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 length is not everything it cracked up to be so this I have not opened or attempted to hang or open it's a dress um let me see if I can find the this dress on um fashion over real quick for you guys give me one minute it won't take long you know what I can do it this way a faster way um, if it'll let me um, pull up the items that I previously purchased um, on this site which it's not so uh, let me let me see if I can find them on um, fashion over through my email confirmation to let you guys see um what's the name of the dresses and stuff like that um in case you want to go and look at it and see if it's something you would like or want to buy for yourself or a loved one um so yeah so this dress is called so the blessed dress was called the blessed hoodie maxi dress. The pants are called the rush rush parachute pants. I know they were parachute pants. This one is called the Terran sweater midi dress in burgundy, $24.99. This is what it, I'm going to hold it down because my address is at the bottom. But this is what the dress looked like on the model. Um... So yeah, like I said, I've never opened this one. I never worn it, but I think I can open it now to hang it up because I was actually waiting to do this collective haul. So I can actually, so this is what the dress looked like around the neck, which I love. A not so tight neck, but just like a little bitty turtleneck type of dress. Um, this one is in a 1X as well. Um, Lengthwise, it looked like it's gonna be a pretty, pretty nice type of situation. I'm sorry, I do apologize if y'all can't see the items really well. It's because I'm sitting at my dining room table. Yeah, right now that's how my setup is because my guest room is a mess right now. Well, it's not a mess. I got a air mattress in because, like I said, it's the holidays and guests come in because I have an extra guest room, so everything's set up nicely in there and it won't have i won't have room for my tripods and stuff like that i'm not using my ring light right now i'm using my above light and i open my blinds so i do apologize if the video may be dark i did go into my settings and set it on the setting where it'll be a little brighter for the area what i'm for what i'm working with right now um so like i said i love a nice graphic tee and i love tupac guys i have tupac graphic tees and nba young boy just throwing it out there <laughs> But this one here is an oversized shirt. It's a 1X. I love an oversized to throw on with some joggers, some thick socks, and um, some nice shoes. Um, this one says All Eyes on Me, Tupac. It's like a ashy black and white washed. Um, this one is called the, on the site, it is called the All Eyes on Me Tupac Charcoal uh, Top. And on the site, oh, on the, oh God, go back, go back, go back. On the site, it looks like this. I'm holding it down because my address is showing. But this is the top. Um, so I'm, this is a nice, this is the back. And this is the front. Which I'm taking them out because, and folding them. Because I'm actually going to hang them up in my closet. So, that's that shirt. Um, I did get another graphic tee. Tupac. Yep, Tupac's my guy. I actually cried when he passed. Blame it on somebody, blame it on me. And this shirt is called on the site. This one is called Tupac Me Against the World Long Sleeve Top in Sand. And this one was 24. Oh, look, guys. <laughs> it is actually sold out i mean you may can't see that but on the site this shirt is sold out 
I'm glad I grabbed it when I did. This one is also oversized in the 1X because this one I think will go great with some black leggings. Um, it's a nice picture of my guy. It also says Me Against the World Tupac with the fist up. If you can see that in the corner there. I love this shirt. I wanted to wear this shirt, but I was waiting for this video. Like I said, some black leggings. Nice. Um, the last thing that I got from Fashion Nova clothing piece and then we'll move over to shoes because they're right here in front of me and if I hit this one more box the, the whole tower is going to fall over I've actually ordered white these white pans from Fashion Nova and on the site they are the white I want to say the white canopy pans and they have two distress holes in them yeah the tall I got them in tall canopy pans because like I said I'm tall and these are also in a 1x and because I have a little hips which I have dip hips I hate um, if you can see they're never been worn so you really can't see but they have the little slits on the knee part on both sides and they're just white I'm not gonna too much move these around too much on the table because I don't want them to stain get a stain on them or push my tables clean but you know white you've been a, handling them with care and then when you go to put them on and also these are in the 1x you go to put them on and they're, I'm not. I'm gonna keep these in the baggie until I wear them. Um, but you know how white is. You can handle them with as much care in the world. When I tell you the world, and I just do this white top on for the sake of the video. But you can sit somewhere for ten minutes, not move. When you decide to get up and go about your business and look down and see a stain on your whites and be like, "What the hell did I do?" Where was I at? All I did was sit in the chair who stood next to you. Now you got a whole game in your head. Your mind is gone. You're like, what did I do? Where did I sit? Who was next to me? Who stood next to me? What they had in their hand? Was they drinking anything? Were they eating anything? Now your mind is just like all over the place because you want to know who you were standing by, who was standing by you, what they were eating, did you eat anything. Next thing you know, you got a headache, your stomach in knots, you got to throw up, you got anxiety. It's just all over the place because you got on white. So if I'm going to wear white, I'm a, look, I wear, I've ordered those, not those exact ones, but the skinnies, the flare legs, the wide legs. I've ordered at least two to three, three to four pair of white pants off Fashion Nova one time two of them i only wore one time wash them they look a different color trash in the trash they go i'm not too keen on white but when it's somewhere i, I need to be and somewhere that i plan on going and that's what i have in my mind to where i'm ordering point blank period the end so now i'm gonna go into the shoes i'm gonna get into the shoes uh, a lot of these shoes have I've been I've had a couple months now but I've either worn them at once or haven't worn them at all um, because if I show y'all my guest room shoe closet I have two feet and I have over 50 pair of sho tennis shoes uh, boots I have maybe 15 pair of boots like I say 50 almost 50 pair of tennis shoes I know that's little for some but like I say I work a nine to five I don't really too much go places but if a shoe catch my eye and I'm like I got something at home to wear with it. I'm going to wear it. All my shoes, I get my shoes in men's sizes, which are 9 in men, 10 and a half women. Um, some of them are women. Some of them are men. For example, this pair here are the Dunk Retro Lows. And these are in men, which is a size 9. I have a shoe plug um, that actually work with me. So that's the beauty of it. I get to get whatever pair of shoes when I want them. If he can get his hands on them, I got them. So, he lets me know ahead of time, hey, those may be hard to get. I'm going to try if I can't. I'm like, if you can't, then no big deal. What meant for me to have? What meant for me to break my bank for them? No problem. So, these are, they call these the Panda Dunks. I've had these, I want to say a little over two months. But I've only worn them once. If you look at the bottom, I've only worn these shoes one time still look new if i wanted to sell these i can because i may wear my shoes to go to the mall come home because i live across the street from the mall that i go to all the time literally across the street 
I can put these on with a nice fly outfit just to go to the mall and come straight home after I get what I get. Take my shoes off, take my outfit off, hang my outfit back up. If it gets dirty, wash it, hang it back up, take my shoes off, and put them back in the closet. So these are the black and white um, pandas is what they call them, dunks. Um, and like I said, those are a nine in men. So I've had them... Uh, for a little, I think I got these right after my birthday in October. Um, the next pair, I think these are a pair of dunks too. No, these are blazers. These are a nine in men as well. I picked these up last month, the beginning of November. Uh, like I said again, wore one time. And the one time I did wear them, I wore them to church. No, I think I wore these twice. I wore them to church and then... I think I just wore them just to wear them um, because I got a little crease right there. But I love these. I love the feel. I got to wash these off, guys, because see, it's a little little scuff right right across there. You may can't see it, but I can. Um, these are the dunks. These been out for a while. I don't know why I never scooped them up. I just think that I thought that maybe they wouldn't look right on my feet uh, because I wear a 90 men and they can look a little big sometimes. But these are the blazers that I picked up nice fits well wear well i'll buy these over and over again if they come to the point where they to the point where i have to just retire them because of the way they look the filth or whatever i don't i i take good care of my shoes so i'm pretty sure it won't be because of filth uh maybe because of creasing or if somebody that needs a pair of shoes that i see and that's and i'm ready to give them away i'll give them away just to buy myself a new pair to have a fresh pair so that's that um the, oh my tower has fallen over, fallen over. Um, the next pair of shoes I got, you can tell by the box. Let me show you this box. Because I can put this box on display. Let me see. Oh, I got. So this is the box. These are in men as well. It's a nine. My plug got all my shoes that I, the two I just showed you, my plug got the dunks for me. I bought the blazer out of the store, just happened to go because. I went and these are the the Air Jordan 3 retros. Um, I picked up this colorway because of the red caught my eye. So I have these. Um, I, my plug got me these. So these are the Jordan Retro 3s. The red. So yeah, I got I picked these up. My plug picked these up. Like I said, I'm going to start back uh, posting my shoe videos as well because um, I get a lot of shoes. And I don't do videos on my shoes because, I, like I said, I'm not boasting, boasting or bragging. A lot of people feel like if a person show what they got, they're bragging. No, I'm not bragging. Like I said, I work hard um, for what I got and I'm very grateful. I thank the guy above. I thank the most high. I thank the Lord, my Lord Jesus Savior for everything I have in my life. From the roof over my head, the food in my house, the shelter over my head, my finances, my transportation. Everything in my life, I give him all the praise and glory because without him, I cannot do anything. Uh, one of my favorite Bible verses, Philippians 4.13, I cannot do anything, but I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So, I have that picture in my living room actually so these i got from no i ordered these off of jd sports these are another pair of jordans um the box the other box had the red jumpman these have the gold um and i ordered these in women which was a 10 and a half and these are the women air jordan three retros black fire red metallic gold um and they look like this and I had to have them because, of course, I'm a Saints fan. And I had to have these, but this is what these look like. They have the gold and red on the top. Um, wore these like three or four times. These are one of my go-to Jordans because of the gold, because of the way the bottom look. I just like the way these feel on my feet. Also, I have all my little Jordan keychains. It came with this little gold Jordan keychain. Um, so these are the way they both look these um ones here one of my favorite pair of jordans is those 
Uh, like I said, these are a go-to of mine. If I'm just throwing on a pair of joggers and running to the mall, just running out to the store. Um, those are... Um, if you notice... Well, if I was one day... I'm going to sit down one day and I'm going to do uh, a shoe haul of my shoe collection. Um, well, I'm going to try. I'm going to put it that way. I'm going to try to get all of them in there, if not majority of them in there. Um, and in my collection, you'll notice I have a lot of Uggs, whether they're boots, slides. I have one that looks like tennis shoes, um, Jordans, Dunks. I have a pair of Pumas. I have a pair of Jumpmans, 79 Jumpmans. Um, I have a lot of shoes, so I'm going to try to get majority of those in one video for you guys. Um, oh, looks like I'm almost out of time on this one, but I'm going to have to continue because I still have another pair of shoes if it goes out, and then I have to get my bag. So this one is a recent pickup. Matter of fact, when I say recent, I mean recent like three days ago for my for my plug three days ago um these are the women nike air mac 187 in burgundy crush um i saw these on sneaker app and had to have them i sent him the picture he said say less so i said less let him do his thing this is the box all black with the glossy nike on the top and on the side and this is what the shoe look like. I haven't worn these yet. Got an outfit in mind for these. Look at it. Look at this shoe. Sick. Suede here. Um, like a snake crocodile like print. The leather is with the sick. I love this shoe. Um, I will try to go for the tail, the teal suede dunks. Couldn't get them. Um, this is my first pair of Air Max since high school. <laughs> that was a long time ago. So I love the way these look. This is what they look like. Um, haven't, like I said, haven't worn these yet, but I'm dying to wear them. I have an outfit in mind um, that I'm going to wear this with. So yeah. And then the last but not least, the last pair of shoes I'm going to show you guys. If you can tell by the box, another pair of Jordans um these or these this is the Air Jordan 6 retros which I have um this is was a recent pickup I think the burgundy Air Max and these I picked up within a week apart from my shoe plug um he also have a YouTube channel out Put his YouTube channel in the description box below so you can check him out. He also do reviews on his shoes. Him and his wife, they're both shoe fanatics. Um, she actually have a sale she's doing on like 10, 12 pair of shoes. So you may want to go over there. So I got these. And these are the Retro's 6s. I got these. They have the uh, 23 in silver with the black Jordan Jumpman there. And I got these in men's nine. I also have another pair like this, um, but they're in women, um, and they're like a seafoam green and uh, type color. So I got these, and this is what they look like together. Um, I have um, so right there. That's all the shoes that I'm gonna show you guys today in this video. But like I said, it's more to come. I'm gonna. Uh, continue to do my shoe videos um, and stuff like that so I oh one more uh, pair of shoes that I got give me a minute let me grab it it was on impulse um, buy I was in the Galleria I know it's winter time but it was an impulse buy um, I was just like I said doing some retail therapy and I picked up some slides from MCM just walking around the Houston Galleria and I was like you know what? Um, I wore these once, but I think I bought them too big and then I waited too long to return them. So I may wear these around the house every now and again, but this is what they look like. Um, like I said, I bought them out the gallery in Houston. Um, just an impulse buy because I've been wanting them for a minute. 
And I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get them because if not, I've been I'm gonna wreck my brain um, on these. And this is the box, the bag these the slides came in, which was this bag here. And they just been sitting in my living room. The one time I wore them, just sitting here in this bag. So um, let me refresh the camera. I am back. So now I'm gonna go into the bags that I've collected. Um, two of them were birthday gifts to myself um, because I like to treat myself nice for my birthday. I'm gonna just slide these over here. Um, because like I said again, I'm gonna say it again. I work hard and I play harder. So the first one I'm gonna show you because it's a smaller one, actually, I got two other bags in there that I'm, I'll just show y'all in another video. Um, but this collab drop, I mean this bag drop because I was, I'm waiting on my Jordan 11s, the fire red patent ones. So I got this, even though I'm tall and I really, I have a small black tail for it, don't wear. Um, I just got this just because of those, on the strength of those Jordans. I actually got the red patent Telfar, which this is Telfar number one, two, three, four, five. This will be my eight. And then I'm waiting for one in the mail. So that'll be nine. This one is the patent red and small. Um, let me see, because I've ordered this, the other bag, uh, a couple weeks ago when it dropped and it hadn't I haven't gotten anything back from it yet it just said order placed um which would be the East Pack the blue um East Pack medium that's I'm waiting on that one um but I also give me a second I also already have it in the black, uh, medium black I already have. Um, I also have uh, two that I ordered last year this time, which was the dark green uh, version. I think, I forget the name of it, and I got the Azalea Pink, which I ordered, a, I'm ordering a buck. I plan on ordering a pink bucket hat um for that but this is the red um patent leather um which i have my green and my azalea one in the bedroom in the box i just didn't feel like getting it out which i should but i don't feel like it yeah so i also like the dust bag that the telfars come in also the tell the east pack duster is bomb i like that dust bag for that but i never put it in the dust my my east pack went in the dust bag because i love to wear it to work i use it as one of my work bag one of my work bags i like that they have the two sides which i have a work radio in there which i need to take back to work because mine has my name on it because i'm in management i have a bunch of stuff oh here's that bro i th literally thought i lost this thing this is the best thing to have just for times like this when I'm talking and doing a video I had gloss on but it's feel like it's gone away so I'm gonna go ahead and which I need to buy some more of this because it's about empty <laughs> so when I go into the mall today I need to make a stop by Sephora and yeah I like this um and I just got a bunch of stuff in here oh my god there's another gloss See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I have glosses everywhere. So, this is the cur Curology. I just canceled my membership because for some reason, the medicine, and then I have a NYX one in here. Like I said, I use this as a work bag. So, I'm going to leave that now. Um, now, this bag was inspired by Lil J. I watch her too a lot. I actually like watching her a lot. If you can see by the dust bag, what it says, you already know what bag it is. 
You see this? The Kirk Geiger London. You already know what bag this is. You already know what bag this is. This is the XXL Kensington, I want to say. Kensington bag. Um, I wore this bag once, and it was for brunch. Um, I went to brunch, and I wore this bag. The chains on it, very sturdy. I love. You can wear it short like this. Or you can drop one um, and wear it long as a crossbody, but I like to wear it short because of the size of the bag being so large. And it got the signature Kurt Geiger symbol on the top. Um, I wore it. Oh, I got gloss on it. I wore it that once and then I restuffed it. Um, the inside, I restuffed it so it won't lose its shape. Um, I'll show you what one side looked like. Um, it has Geiger imprinted all in the bag. So that's that side, which doesn't have a zipper, but it's so big. You can just throw all your stuff in there. And then also this side. It doesn't have a zipper, but it has a little pouch where you can put things in it. Um, and then it has the Kurt Geiger thing on the thing, and it says, I am leather here. Um, if you can see that, it says Kurt Geiger London, I am leather. And then it has the, the little pouch area right here. So, I'm in love oh, with this. Could you try again? No. Excuse me, that's my okay. wife. My watch is wanting to talk to you guys, but I don't want to talk to you. Um, let me get this stuffing back in here. But, oh, look, another gloss. You can never go wrong with a gloss in your bag. And I, when I tell you I haven't worn this bag since October, which I might pull it out today and wear it, because this bag is going to get some wear from me. Like, for the price, oh, yeah, it's going to get some wear from me. Um, also, I saw this on Aaliyah. She did New York Fashion Week one time. That's all. I rewind the video over three times to make sure I was getting the right bag. When I saw it on the site, when she said who it was by, I made sure I watched the video and rewind it and rewind it to make sure that I was hearing her say the right name. And when I went to the site, I made sure it was the right bag, the right color. And I think for Christmas, I'm going to buy myself another one, but not as big, the medium size, but in the black fur, the fur black or either the burgundy leather. Um, but around the loops, they have Kurt Geiger London around the loops uh, where the chain is. Very, very beautiful bag. And I bought this one. I didn't get this one off the Kurt Geiger site. Because the site was sold out at the time on this particular bag. I don't know if people saw her video and it sold out immediately. But I got this one off Bloomingdale's. So I bought this bag off Bloomingdale's.com. So it didn't come in the box. It just came with the duster. Um, like I said, I got this bag uh, off of Bloomingdale's.com. Um, yeah, I'm going to put my bag on today. I'm wearing this today. So... Get ready to be sick of me in this bag, guys. I'm going to wear that bag. And the last but not least, the last item in this video is another Tell Feezy. Um, This was another birthday gift to myself. Um, Like I said, I can go get my other two, which I might. But um, I bought those the beginning of the year. So I don't see why I should go get them. But... Like I said, I love the way how far dust bags look and how the, on the bag it has his established date, which was 2005. Um, and guys, he is a black, black owned businessman. So I always support the biz. And this one here is the Telfar Moose Knuckle collab in medium. I've worn this bag twice, I want to say. Um, because I have like, I seen a little thread loose on the side right here and over here, but that can be with stitching with anything. Um, it's not nothing to, you know, get upset about, but I don't want it to tear up. So this is the, uh, Telfar Moose Knuckle collab. This is what it looks like. 
Um, I don't know what this is, but it was stuck on my bag and it's going in the trash because I don't want to ruin my stuff. This one was $2.80, I want to say. Like I said, I'm going to have everything. I'm going to try to put everything in the description box that we talked about today and where I got it from. Um, so that's that. I like to keep my bags in their dusters because, like I said, I live in apartments. I'm not in a house. And even if I was in a house, dust travels. So I like to keep them protected because when you cherish, not cherish because you're not supposed to cherish material things, but when you do take pride in what you work for to buy yourself, you want to take care of it. And so I might come home and make me a hookah today. That's what I'm going to do. Um, so I like to take care of the things. I'm not sure my address, but... Um, so that concludes this video um, for as the collective haul um, portion of this video um, and everything to do with all things by myself. But I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year going into 2023. Um, I just want to wish everyone a successful 23, a prosperous 23, um, manifestation of 2023 of health, financing, uh, work relationship, family relationships, uh, for your mental, for your spiritual, for your um, emotional. I pray that everyone get what they want going into the new year because some people uh, may not be blessed to see the new year. Some people weren't blessed to see the new year. A lot of family are grieving people that haven't, uh, that they've lost this year alone. Um, and this year is not over with, so we don't know what the future hold for us. We don't even know what today or tomorrow hold for us. But where there's God, there's a purpose. Um, so just be grateful, be thankful for what you have and what you don't have. Because sometimes you want things and you don't have it. And it's not meant for you to have it at that time. Um, what's your blessing is your blessing, and you are the only one that can slow that down. Um, so... Going into the new year, I myself want to go into the new year positive, positive feelings, positive thinking, positive people in my life, uh, removing anybody out of my life that don't mean me no good, that just want to see me fail or wish that I fail because everybody's not here for you. You got to watch who and what you call your friends, um, the people that you deal with, because some friends are not all good friends. Some friends are only around you for what you can do for them um, and what they can get from you. Um, and that's not a friend. That's a user and an abuser. Um, if we haven't learned anything from the Shankwella Robinson situation, um, I pray for the family. They have my blessings, my condolences, and my prayers. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm a loner. So um, I just pray for peace mental uh, for everyone um, for those that are feeling like the walls are closing it's not just look above say a prayer go on about your business because he hear him he listen and he fulfill um, and with that being said don't forget to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend um, about my channel is Shannon Denise it's spelled capital S-H-A-N-N-O-N, -N -N, capital D-E-N-E-I-C-E. -E. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave those comments. The future videos, like I said, going into 2023, I'm going to try to start off with one or two videos a week. Uh, a story time to where I was and what I've been dealing with in my personal um, space, uh, home life, family. Um that video will be a next video that I put out. Um, but like I said, I don't have a specific uh, for my channel. Um, I like makeup. I like beauty. I like clothing. I like shopping. Um, so just lifestyle. Day-to-day um, -day lifestyle. Um, so I want to say peace into the next video. Look at my backdrop. So this is my backdrop and what it's going to look like until... I'm in a space where I feel comfortable moving around. My apartment is pretty nice. I'm very blessed to have what I have. Um, but the light in here sucks. Every time I turn on the light, it's like an orange color. Um, and it's not a pretty sight. I either have to put on my ring light and it becomes too bright.
But I will pick y'all back up again when I leave out, when I'm in the mall, or when I come back from the mall. I'm not too comfortable right now vlogging in the mall, but um, I will make sure to pick you guys up when I do leave out the house, when I take this bonnet off and comb my hair down and stuff like that. Oh, and somebody asked me, a couple people asked me where did I get these earrings from. My cousin is an Atlanta-based uh, jewelry maker. Um, she makes these jewelry. They're on her site. It's ChristianAli.com. Uh, it's C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-O-I-L.com. ChristianAli.com. Um, O-I-L-I, I'm sorry, dot com. She's an Atlanta-based jewelry uh, designer. She makes good pieces. Every time she comes to Houston to visit, I'm hitting her up. Look, bring this with you. I'm purchasing this. Bring it with you. Um, so, yeah, that concludes this today's video, guys. Um, oh, also, guys, if you can... I, like I said, I'm new to it, so I don't know how and where I need to go to look to get the free, free non-copyright music for the video. Um... So, yeah, if you can give me some comments down below, some tips, some pros, some cons on how to edit my video. I use Wondershare, how to edit my video with the music and whatnot. I've been getting emails about updating and different versions of the software that they didn't came out with. So, yeah, just give me some updates. And right now, it's 12-17. We've, it's not been long um, that I've done this video. So, I, until next time. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, I'll see y'all on the next video.